have an upgrade to do today and it's because I uh, may have accidentally screwed up some things. I'll insert a video clip in here of where I was and how it happened but I didn't get video of it happening. Um, in a nutshell got turtled and then I had to winch myself off and when I winched down I went towards that side and it caught where I was turtled. So in the process of that we ripped out one of the backup sensors and so I have a new harness that has to go on to the new bumper. I need to start dismantling this which is all 16 millimeter bolts. There's two underneath. I already took off the license plate obviously. And then on the back side here there are two on this side and then there should be two on the other side that match. Um, and then I'll have to do some wire harness removal as I go uh, because we have to reuse these sensors. The other sensors in my basement so I'll have to get that later. They are specific to the place that they are in. So if you're doing anything like this, do not just pull them all out and throw them in a pile. You will be screwed until you figure out the what, 16, no, there's probably more than that combinations that you can have happen. So don't do that. I had to go through up here and disconnect the connector, which is over here now. That connector has a few pieces that are on this rail. However, that's the only ones there. So now I believe this side, I need to disconnect this one here because that one goes to my trailer plugs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. Connected. Outside of, I might've forgot this one. the trailer plug connector that I'm gonna have to disconnect. This one right here will be pushed and then the whole thing will come up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see is it this way. Yep. It's just really caked in there. Got it. Alright trailer connector. Gotta get this. Pop that out of there. And now, off it goes. We reuse these. Let me see that for a second. We will have to plug in both wearing harnesses because half of the plugs are for one harness, the other half for the other harness even though they're all connected. I don't get it either. It's a Jeep thing, right? These here are 21 millimeters. And with the bumper that I've got, these don't get reused in any way, shape, or form. So both have to come out. There's no nut on the bottom. It's just that is the nut in essence. This one does not have one because I don't have a Rubicon. Go figure, right? Um, probably we'll do a little bit of mud clean up and uh, maybe spray some of this rust down. We do need to go through on this bumper and extract all of the sensors so that I can use them in the other bumper including the trailer harness. We're going with the Rugged Ridge HD rear bumper because it matches the front bumper. Maybe. It's it's matches the front bumper things, dear. Peanut gallery. So got this open. There we go. And uh, got some foam, which I'll hit the dog with. She's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Um, and it looks like we have some hardware. I don't know what's in the hardware box yet other than hardware um but otherwise it's upside down no it's it's not pink it's black 
she wants it for that. It wouldn't work for that. Anyway, uh, so we have to move the sensors over into this, uh, which I have done, taken out all of them except for the one that's in the basement that I took out before. Uh, out of the bumper you have to pretty much take off the top layer and then go reach in and kind of pry back each of these clips so that you can push back the piece and then they're attached to this harness. Normal people would get to reuse their harness. I cannot. So I have a new harness to put in and as for how backup plate lights work on that, I don't know for sure yet, but that will be the new harness. That little hooky do that's somewhere over in that range, I can't really see it in my little tiny screen. That'll probably go to eBay. And, uh, oh, this piece. This comes out by pushing the tab on each side in and pushing it through. Just for people's reference that are trying to do this and can't figure out why they pull it and it doesn't go through. Now we've got to put the sensors which pop out of these, which this one's broken off if you can't tell. Um, they, you just kind of pull each side out and it pops off. I don't know if these are direction specific, but I've been orienting the plugs to the inside, which to me makes the most sense. So with this bumper, they do have plugs. So if you don't have the backup sensors, there's these plugs here that you can just put in place. I have the sensors. I'm going to keep the sensors. Um, use these uh, little bolts with washer and these little brackets to hold them in place. A little cut goes towards wherever your sensor hole holder thing is. There's a secondary washer and a nut. And you do it on both the top and the bottom. As you can see, they're both right here. You probably, if you don't have the right long sockets and whatnot, um, it is a 21 millimeter on top. There's probably a equivalent of standard, but it's 21 on top and then the nut on the bottom is a 7 8. There's probably some conversion. It's the tools that I have that work. So you could probably put a wrench through, get the back one, tighten it down, do the front one, tighten it down. Um, as you can see, we're a little bit bent here. So once I get these tightened down, I'm going to try to bend this back so it's flush again. Uh, the other side isn't bent. All right, let me get these all it torqued down and uh, fix that piece. Dog for moral support. Oh, up there, and then one will come down here. Then you boo, uh, and you put a washer on each side and a lock nut. So I'm gonna do that before we lose it. So that's installed. Um, there's a couple things I gotta figure out still. Mainly, license plate lights. I believe they're required in Michigan. I'll double check. Uh, so I do need to figure out how to deal with that. Secondly, this bracket for being able to hold that in, I had to take the pins off the back and bend them out slightly, put it through, then put the pins back on. Um, it's the only way I could get it to actually lock down in place. It definitely feels higher clearance. It's way more tucked up in, which I do like. So for reference, hand width, my thumb sticks over. Hand width, my thumb does not. I do have to buy new ORV tags, something I kind of came to terms with. It supports the ORV in Michigan, so it's okay. Um, but there are some steps here. I wouldn't suggest stepping on them. 
without having shoes or some sort of protection on. I like the idea that there is a step. It is stout. Uh, I will be getting some rings so that I can match the front. And uh, overall, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So. All right. Hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, hopefully it's not too long. Try not to make long videos, especially install ones. So I'm gonna try to cut this down as thin as I can. So hopefully future me, you did what I needed you to do. Thank you. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff that's YouTube. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.